at one point, the MCU was one of the biggest movie franchises of all time, and now it's just gotten such a downhill slope, and it almost looks like it could be unredeemable. So today, we're going to be truly answering the question if Marvel is actually dead or not, because they're still putting out many movies, some of which are really good and liked by the community, but some of them are just, ugh, some of them get delayed, and some of them just get flat out canceled because they can't come up with good projects anymore, it feels like. So here's what they said Phase 5 would look like whenever they first announced it. So starting off, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. This was one of the biggest flops of all time in the movie industry. It made less than $500 million. It was a massive flop, and it got a very low score on Rotten Tomatoes as well. It overall was very not liked by the community and really didn't set up any nice stories for any of these other movies movies. So, I mean, overall, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania definitely didn't turn out how they were probably hoping for it to. Uh, Secret Invasion, it was terrible. It, it was not good. <laughs> and, like, they have it right here, like, next to a, a movie that came out in February. Secret Invasion, I, uh, it did not come out until, like, June, so it, it definitely came out a little later than they were probably hoping for. Um, and it was, once again, a huge flop. It was the lowest-watched Disney Plus uh, Marvel show since Miss Marvel, I believe, it did not do good. Um, it did not get a great score. It, it, it just was a big flop. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Okay, this was a movie that actually did really good. It was a good goodbye to the Guardians. Um, but overall, it, it really didn't do phenomenal. It just did good. Which, I mean, everybody expected it to do good. But it didn't, like, extremely overperform. Um, we got Echo here that hasn't even released yet. In fact, I think that's been pushed back. Uh, the Marvels got delayed. Uh, Loki Season 2 should be coming out soon if it's gonna come out in the summer of 2023, because that's almost over. Uh, Blade got delayed. <laughs> no rhyme intended, but Ironheart is most likely gonna get delayed. Uh, Agatha, I don't know if anybody's actually excited for that show. Daredevil Born Again, I think people are, are definitely excited for, but I don't know if it's, uh, something on everybody's top watch list for, uh, 2024. Captain America New World Order, this is almost certainly going to get pushed back at some point. They can never get a movie out by its release date, uh, it feels like now. Uh, so, yeah, overall, this, uh, this slate here for Phase 5 of the MCU, it hasn't been going so great, and it's not looking like it's really gonna pick up, honestly. We're about here right now, and, uh, there's really nothing left that has people super excited. I guess Loki Season 2, maybe? Daredevil Born Again, maybe? But, like, that's it for, like, the next year. So, I mean, what are they gonna do? I, it's not looking good, honestly. Um, so, if you, uh, I, I don't know if I want to say Marvel is dead forever, but it definitely looks like it's taking a steep decline uh, from what it used to be. It's, uh, it's not great, and hopefully Phase 5 will redeem it, but, I mean, after Endgame, it, everything just kind of went downhill. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully Marvel, uh, does a little bit better and, uh, starts to make better content again. But, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.